A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. If you're into fun and you love to play. If you like funny jokes, they put you away. If you like to dance to a slamming sound and you like having lots of friends around. And if you're one of those kids who lives by the rule that sad is bad and happy is cool. Oh, little buddy, you're about to see you're in the very best place that you could be. Hey, it's Lamb Chops. Play along with kids. Come to play along in fun things and all we ever do. Yeah, it's Lamb Chops. Play along. Come join the kids and play along. We got a lot of good stuff for you. Make a muscle. Squeeze it. Really squeeze with all your might. Now the other arm. Let me see just how strong you've grown to be. Make two muscles left and right. Come on and pump it up. Out of sight. Hey, you're getting strong. Now let's, let's go, go back, back to this song. Lamb chops, play along with kids. Come to play along and fun things are all we ever do. Yeah, it's lamb chops, play along. Join the kids and play along. Especially you. Philip, you're big and strong, aren't you? Fairly. Fairly. <laughs> Fairly. He's big and strong. And yet, I can put just one finger at a spot on Philip's face, and he will not be able to move forward without moving his feet. That's the rule. You mustn't move your feet. You want to see? It's a bet you you can pull on a friend. You say, I can put one finger at a spot on your face, and you put it right under the person's nose and you straighten your arm. Philip, try to move forward. Come on, don't move your feet, but just try to move forward. And it's a very sensitive spot. And are you trying with all your might? All your might? And he <laughs> cannot move forward. Now, Brian is smaller than Philip. It'll work. Put your finger okay. under his nose, straighten your arm, and now, come on, try. Come on, try. Come on, try. <laughs> and you try it on a friend. <laughs> Knock, knock. Who's there? Ivana. Ivana who? I wanna know why you don't recognize me. Gee, Charlie Horse. <laughs> going to do a very simple song. Oh, simple. All about the parts of the body. The head, the shoulders, the knees, the toes. I know you know where your head is and you know where your shoulders are. And if you don't, let me assure you by the time this song is over, you'll know. The reason we're going to do this simple song is because later we're going to have some fun. I want to make sure that later when we're having fun, we're singing the same song. So sing along with us, okay? Okay, now remember, it's head and shoulders, knees and toes, okay? Okay, we got it. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears, and mouth and nose, head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay, guys, now we're going to do it in Japanese. You start. No, I'm teasing. Japanese is not difficult. Your head is your atama. 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 Pop your head and say atama. <laughs> atama. You've got a good atama on your shoulders. Shoulders, shoulders, kata. Atama, kata. Atama, kata. Your knees are hiza, hiza, hiza. And your toes are ashi, ashi. Got it? All right, let's do it, put it together. Atama, kata. Hiza, ashi. Atama, kata. Hiza, ashi. Atama, kata. Mito, mimito, kuchito hana. Atta, 
songs. Sing a song of six pants with pockets full of rye. Would you put rye bread in all your pants? You wouldn't, and neither would I. <laughs> That's really dumb. is the number one, and this is a zero. Promise me that no matter what happens, I'll be the only one in your life. The truth is, without you, I'm nothing. This is a game in which Stephanie and Elena are going to be balancing first a paper cup, and then a paper plate, and then another paper cup, and then another paper plate, and then another paper cup. Sounds easy? Well, this game is called flat top. And the reason it's called flat top is because they don't do it on their hands. Where do they do it? On their foreheads. On their foreheads. Boys, let's see your flat top. Okay. And so right on the forehead. You want to show how you're going to balance it on the forehead? Go ahead, Steph. Steph is going to balance it on Matthew. Oh, oh, right in the nose. There we go. Oh, that's good. And then a plate. Okay, okay. Now, you stay there. Take it off. That's the way the game is played. All right. Here's yours. You've got three cups and two. And this is a magical game. And the reason I call it a magical game is because you play it with a cup and saucer. -a. Okay. Are you ready? Yes? Yeah. Are you ready? Yep. How about you, boys? Yep. Flat tops. Ready. Set. Go, 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 go. Balance, balance, balance. runs around the lawn but doesn't move. How can something run around the lawn if it doesn't move? I give up. Do you give up? Oh, you know the answer? Oh, you don't either. Okay, what runs around the lawn but doesn't move? A fence. It runs around the lawn but it doesn't move. <laughs> Good. Riddles are great fun, you know. We got a million but look at the time now, it's late So I'm afraid they'll have to wait till next time <laughs> yeah. I have never, ever seen Lamb Chop so excited All I hear from her is, first day of school, first day of school And you know, everybody, everybody gets nervous uh, Could I call you back? Uh, hush, puppy! No, no, not you No, everything's fine, everything's fine, call you back Hush, puppy! What are you doing with a doll carriage? What doll carriage? The one that you're pushing. Oh, this doll carriage. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm going to uh, to I'm going to to uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to uh to uh to uh to France. What? France, yeah, that's it. I'm going to France. France, oh, that's a very long way away. It is? Oh, to get to France, you have to take a plane or a boat. Oh, then they, they all won't go to France. Maybe they all just go to the supermarket. The supermarket? Yeah. And what are you going to do with a doll carriage at the supermarket? Well, uh, 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 surely you're not hiding anything in the doll carriage. I'm not. Are you? Like what? Like what? What's in the doll carriage? Are you insinuating that Lamb Chuppy is hiding in that doll carriage? Oh, no, that would be ridiculous. No, it ain't. She's in there. You nincompoopy puppy. I couldn't help that she beat it out of me. What's going on here? An explanation is in order. Go ahead, I'm listening. Uh, no, it's all my fault, Sherry Lewis. What? Yeah, it's all my fault. I was just standing there, and Lanchot came up to me, and she said, please put me in the doll carriage and smuggle me out of the house, because tomorrow's the first day of school, and I can't, I can't, I can't go without Mr. Bailey. Oh, my goodness, you know, she was just scared out of her sheepskin. Oh, I see. And why was that your fault? Because I shouldn't have been standing there. <laughs> I see. What's wrong, honey? Oh, 
I don't want to go to school if I can't take Mr. Bailey. Oh, yes, but you're a big girl now. You can't take a teddy bear to school. But uh, tomorrow's the first day of school, and, and I don't want to leave my Mr. Bailey alone. Yeah, but, my darling, you've been to school before. Yes, but that was just kindergarten. This is the big time. First grade. Yeah, but, sweetheart, everybody gets nervous, you know. Everybody gets a little bit nervous when they go to school for the first time. Really? Sure, I did. Oh, that's amazing. What, that I got nervous first day I went to school when I was a kid? No, that they had school when you were a kid. Oh, thank you very much. Actually, schools have changed a great deal since I was a kid. Yes, now they have electricity. Ooh. Lamb the minute you get to school, you're going to be fine. You'll get in that classroom with all of those kids. You'll be so excited, you won't even realize you're alone. Alone? Sure. Alone as in... By myself? Yes. With... Without Mr. Bailey? That's right, darling. That's wrong, Sherry. No, I'm not going. If Mr. Bailey can't come, I'm not going. Hush, puppy. Take me to France. Give me a knock-knock joke. Don't knock a knock-knock joke. They're always dumb. So tell me how come. Bubble up after four, I always double up. Don't be an old slow poke. Give me a knock knock joke, please. Knock knock. Who's there? Anita. Anita who? Anita, cold glass of water. Knock knock. Who's there? Anita. Anita who? I need a break from all this dancing. Me too. Come on. I love the knock knock joke. Look, Lamb Chop, Lamb Chop, you're making a big deal over nothing. Are you saying that my first day of school is nothing? Absolutely nothing. Then why do I have to go? We all have to go to school to learn things. That's why I want Mr. Barely to go. Who wants a dumb teddy? <laughs> Come on, Lamb Chop, you can do it. What? Repeat after me. I, you, no, not me, you, Lamb Chop. Oh, yeah, me, Lamb Chop. Right, me, Lamb Chop, you talk funny. Is that what they teach you at school? Come on, Lamb Chop, get serious. I, Lamb Chop. I, Lamb Chop. Can go to school, can go to school. Without my teddy bear, without my teddy bear. Again. Again. No, say the whole thing. Again. I, Lamb Chop, can go to school without my teddy bear. See? But I'm not going to. Oh, I cannot give up, Mr. Bailey. After all these years, Mr. Bailey is my best friend. Would you give up, Hush Puppy? Faster than a speeding bullet. Bad example. Look, Lamb Chop, taking your teddy bear to school would be like taking Shari to school with you. Oh, that's a good idea. You can't take your teddy bear wherever you go. What's going to happen to Mr. Bailey when you get married? We'll be very happy together. Mr. and Mrs. Bailey. Oh, what's the use? You will never grow up. Never. Yes, I will. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, I will grow up. I'm going to grow up. But I'm not going to do it without my Mr. Bailey. I need Mr. Bailey. Oh, 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 I need you too, Shelly. Yeah, well, I know a story about a knight who had the same problem that you have. He didn't want to go to night school? No. His problem was that he felt that he needed something to give him confidence, just the way you feel with your Mr. Bailey. Yeah, but, but, but do you know the story? Oh, I happen to remember the story because just the other day I was telling this story to Charlie Horse. <laughs> Of old, when knights were bold, there once was a knight who was not. He didn't have the courage that other knights had got. He killed no dragons, fought no jousts, he was timid as can be. And when 
he'd ride through the countryside. Folks would laugh at Fulderoldy. Now one day Fulderoldy was sitting in his room, polishing his lance, when Merlin the magician came to his door. Fulderoldy, he said, take these magic boots and put them on, and you'll have courage. You'll have strength forevermore. Well, early next day, the legends say, Foldy Rildy took a ride. He killed the first three dragons he met on the countryside. Thank goodness, he said, for Merlin's boots. Now I'm brave as I can be. And when I ride through the countryside, folks will cheer for Foldy Roldy. Yay! One day, a dragon, a fire breathing dragon, biggest dragon I've ever seen. Oh no. Came to the castle, the king's castle, and carried off the queen. Fulderol D, my brave knight, the angry king said, Take your horse and catch that dragon and bring me his head. So Fulderol D hopped on his horse. He was soon on the dragon's trail. And in half an hour, over the hill, he spotted the dragon's tail. Fulderol D spurred on his horse while bravely he raised his mace. And in less than a minute, Fulderol D and the dragon were face to face. Ha ha! Say Fulderol D, ha ha! You're not such a tough galoot. After I give you a taste of my mace, I'll show you the point of my boot. Yet even as he spoke, Fulderoldy realized he'd come without the magic boots. Yes, in his rush to save the queen and get the dragon's head, he left the pair of magic boots underneath his bed. But there was no time for fright. He had challenged the dragon to fight. So swinging his mace, he hit the dragon with all of his, 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 all of his might. There you go, you so and so. That should settle your hash, he said. As down came the dragon with a resounding crash and was dead. <laughs> So Fulderoldy had saved the queen. He proved himself quite a man. But that, my friends, was just a part of Merlin the Magician's plan. Those boots were never magic boots. Merlin said with a grin. And Fulderoldy, now you see that without them you can win. Who's there? Tommy. Tommy who? Tommy ache. My tummy ache is killing me. Oh! What do you think that is? A dragon on a leash? Who ever heard of a dragon on a leash? No, this green iguana comes from South America and Central America. And I'll bet you anything that once upon a time, people saw these lizards, these iguanas, like this, and they made up stories about bigger and bigger and bigger ones until they were making up stories about dragons. Don't you think that's how the dragon story started? I do. Do you know what a dragon is, iguana? Okay, okay, okay. What did the panther say to the dragon? Oh, do you give up? Please give up! The panther said to the dragon, my panther dragon. <laughs> Penny for your thoughts. Penny for my thoughts. Oh, I was just thinking about lamb chop. Well, darling, well, she went to school today without Mr. Bearley. And I wondered how she did, you know? She should be home by now. Yeah, well, I'll have to owe you. Owe me what? The penny. I'm a little short this week. <laughs> Hi, Shelly. 
Oh, here's our little girl now. So, darling, how was your day at school? Oh, it was the best day of my entire life. The teacher was nice, and the principal was nice, and the ice cream was nice. <laughs> and also, I made a whole bunch of new friends. Oh, I'm not surprised. Yeah, Frankie, Billy, Margie, Jamie, Kenny, Wendy, Bernie, Mallory, Stevie, Aubrey, Robert, Judy, and Horth. <laughs> and they all all love me. I'm not surprised. Yeah. And so I invited them all over for dinner tonight. I'm not surprised. Oh, but you know the nice thing is that Lamb Chop did it all by herself. I mean, without Mr. Bailey. And it's all because of that story you told me about foldy roldy the night i i realized that i have all the courage i need and i can do anything i want to do anytime i want to do it without mr barely good as long as i have my magic boots <laughs> It's betcha time, it's betcha time, and though I've never met ya, I know something you can't do, I betcha, betcha, betcha. I'll teach ya how to do what I propose. Ready, set, here goes. I betcha that you can take a piece of paper and making just one cut, you can cut this piece of paper into three equal Parts. I bet you your teacher can't do it. I bet you your mom can't do it. But you can do it. Sure you can do it. I'm going to show you how. That's why you can do it. Pay attention. You take the piece of paper and you fold it in half. I mean really in half. And then you sharpen your center fold. Then you fold it over again in the same direction. But you roll it this time into three parts. There. And you sharpen those folds. Open them up just a little. Now this is the center fold. Remember the first fold we made? The fold that's next to the center fold is the one that you're going to cut. And you're going to cut. And you're going to cut. And cut. Very carefully because we want three equal parts. And when you have cut through all of that, you open up the piece of paper. Now that's your first piece of paper. Here is the second piece of paper and it's exactly the same size. And here is the third piece of paper and oh my goodness, they're exactly the same size and you did it! With one cut, you cut a piece of paper into three equal pieces. What do you think of that? You know it all the time? Oh, cut it out. Get your teddy ready, get your teddy ready Though he may be sleeping on your bed He should be in your lap and stayed and gotten ready Like I said, he should be gotten ready Hold your teddy steady for a teddy bear tail Hold his tail! Okay, 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 okay uh, One minute story about teddy bears and Mr. Bearley This one's for you I'm gonna tell the story of Lost and Found The little boy was... Lost, you guessed it. They brought him to the police station, but the police station couldn't get the child to tell his... Name. His name, or what else does the policeman want to know? Address. Your address, that's right. He's scared, whispered one of the men in blue. At last, an officer arrived holding a teddy bear and wearing a very worried look. This animal is lost, he said. We can't get anything out of him either. What's going on today? And the officer turned to the boy. Can you help us? He asked. The child took the bear. If only we knew the bear's name, the policeman sighed. Teddy, the boy said. Really? You know him. And what's his last name? Bear, the boy answered. Bear, no kidding. Well, let's look it up. And the officer flipped open a phone book and he found T Bear. What did the T stand for? Teddy, that's right. T-Bear. And he went to the phone and he dialed a number. Well, apparently somebody picked up on the other end. Did you lose your son? The officer said. What does he look like? Well, he's small and he's fuzzy and the officer acted as if the person on the other end had hung up, which probably is what he did. Well, that's not Teddy's home, the officer said. What are we going to do with this poor little fellow? They won't take him at the zoo. They've got too many bears there already. Suddenly the boy piped up. I'll take him home with me. The officer looked pleased. You will? Honestly? 
Sure, the kid said. Oh, that's very kind. And where do you live, the officer asked. 222 Morris Avenue. You all know your address, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, why don't you say your address all together and I'll listen. What's your address? Did you say your address, too? Okay, so this little boy knew his address, and he said, 222 Morris Avenue. Well, that's a good neighborhood for bears, the policeman said. So they took the boy home in a squad car. And on the way, he told them that his name was Sean Oakwood. You know, there's not much else to tell except this. He was really an undercover policeman dressed as a teddy bear, and he did his job very well. For months, you could always find him in Sean's bed. Under the covers. Yeah. Those are the bare facts. <laughs> this is the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this is the song that doesn't end. Oh, no. Yes, it goes on and on, my friend. That's enough, guys. Some people. This is the song that... Charlie, horse! No, no, stop, stop, stop. Charlie, stop. I want you to go away. Go away. And don't slam the... Door. Funding for this program was provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. This is PBS. Okay, Josh. 